Hey everybody, and welcome back to another video from Downkaboo43, and today we're going to be taking a look at Brick Yardley from the 2017 Car Street Diecast line, and like with Jackson Storm and a lot of the other Car Street Diecasts that I will be reviewing in the near future, I got them on May 1st, 2017, which of course was the official release date for all Car Street Diecasts to be available to the public and to hit retail stores. I got all of my Car Street Diecasts from May 1st at Atari, except for one, that which was Car Street Mac Hauler, which I bought at Walmart, but the rest of the Car Street car they bought on May 1st was at Target. So, yeah, definitely awesome for me, and if you did not get any Car Street diecast on May 1st, I'm sorry, but hopefully you can get them soon. But anyway, I won't really be saying that much in the near um, videos of the Car Street diecast review that I got on May 1st. I'll just say this. That if I did not get them on May 1st, I will say that in the video. But if I don't explain at all the day I got it, then I did get it on May 1st. Just let you guys know. I might sound a little bit confusing, but you can rewind the video if you want to understand a little bit more. But I won't be mentioning I got it on May 1st in any more of my videos. And because, I mean, it's pretty basic that I did get it on May 1st. If I didn't get it on May 1st, I wouldn't mention it. So anyway, let's get into the review of the packaging of Brick Yardley. He has his name written out right there, obviously. The die gets in the packaging. And he has the traditional Car Street logo up there with no art, which is on all the Car Street die casts. They don't have art. On the back of the package, you can see Car Street, Light McQueen, Smokey, Cal Weathers, Ray Clutchburn, Red Meeker, and Sterling. All of these guys are new characters, except for McQueen, obviously. And here's a bio that's talking about what the Car Street movie will be about. If you want to pause and read that if you like, and go ahead. Alrighty, so I said everything I needed to say, so let's take Brick Yardley out of the package. Alrighty guys, we got Brick Yardley out of the package here, and he looks absolutely stunning. He is obviously a stock car, and after I finish reviewing the overview of how his appearance of the diecast looks, I will talk about his role and my actual speculation on what's happening with him. So, I'll get to that later, but now let's get on with the review of Brick Yardley. So, as you can see... He has this nice, happy expression on his face. He looks very happy. You can see some of his inner mouth and his teeth. I like that added detail. He has the Vitally logo on his hood for older active cars. And he is a... I know he looks a little high-tech. I, I don't know if that's just me, but he looks a little bit more, like, not really stock car. But he is a stock car, basically. But I think of it as, like, the model... Of Leakless is similar to that. I guess it's the Cars 3 version of it. Because there are three cars, stock car models for Cars 3. And this is one of them. And as you can see, he has brown eyes. He has 24, which is his number. He has Brick Yardley on his roof, edges in white. So that signifies to me that he is a main character. Because all of the main characters the for the Cars movies, they put their names on the roof edges, and they have that for Bobby Swift, Cal Weathers, and Lightning McQueen, and Jackson Storm, and those are main characters. Not sure if Danica Cruz Ramirez has it, but I think she does, but I don't think she does. I'm going to have to check back, but he does have his name on the roof edges, which signifies to me that he's going to be a main character, which I love to see, but we haven't seen him in any trailers so far. His main colors are obviously green and white. He has some additional Piston Cup sponsors here. Which includes Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitroate, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid. And he has this little red line. And you guys might be wondering what that's for. That's actually an indicator to the pitties, I believe, where to lift the car up in order to change the tires. So very, very cool right there. He obviously has green light year or green rims with the light year logo. Vitaly logo right there. He also has the Vitaly logo again right there in front of it is spoiler. On the back, he has Vitaly with 24 on the lower right hand corner. And this side is basically identical to the other side. And he has a black base basically. So, my speculation well, his role in the movie, I'm not sure what his role in the movie is going to be, but he'll probably be a friend of McQueen. 
because on Take 5 Days list in September, they did say that Brick Sponsors also getting released, and Brick Sponsors basically mean the owner of the Violin Company, so... I feel like there's gotta be something with him, and plus he has his name on the roof edges, or else why would they just give a background character on the roof edges? I know they only draw for the main character, so... He has to have some sort of significance in the movie. In my opinion, he'll be a friend of McQueen's. So let's compare him to the Cars 1 Vitaline Racer, which is obviously James Cleaner. And obviously James Cleaner has retired now because we have a new character racing for Vitaline. Stock car version, we will have also a next-gen version. That character is called Chase Racer, which will be made as a diecast, but it's not out yet. As you can see, you can definitely see the evolution of the company. Their logos look extremely different. I mean, this one has that shine look to it. This one just has a basic green background. And pretty awesome. They kept the slogan for older after cars. And I definitely prefer Brick Yardley over James Cleaner. And I'll give it 360s of these characters. So that's it for the 360, and now if you guys are wondering other ways you can get Brick Yardley besides a single, well, the only other ways you can get him besides a single is in gift packs, because obviously he's as a single, and he is in a Cars 3 5-pack called Piston Cup Race Day 5-pack. It comes with Cars 3, Lightning McQueen, Brick Yardley, Jackson Storm, Daniel Swervis, and the first look at Shannon Spokes. And the only other way you can get them is in another gift pack, which is in the Desert Race 11 pack. And that comes with Car Street Lightning McQueen, Cal Weathers, Brick Yardley, Rem Meeker, Tex Dynico, Bobby Swift, Jackson Storm, Chick Hicks with headset, Todd Marcus, a Revengo racer, and a Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen first look. I think I said all of them. I think I might have missed one, but I believe I said all of them. And he is in that pack, and those are the three ways you're able to get Brick Yardley so far. I got him as a single, but I will get those five packs to get the first look cards. But I want to see if they're releasing as, them as singles first. But yeah, I guess that's the end of the video. I don't really have anything else I want to say, basically. So let me go know, guys, in the comment section down below if you prefer Brick Yardley or James Cleaner. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. This is the end off of the video, obviously. And thank you guys so much for all your support, like I always say. And I'll see you guys all the time in the next vid. Peace out.